Welcome back. You're now tuned into the other side, the other side of sports. I'm your host, Laws in the building. It's me. It's my man, Earn. We in here rocking out. You already know. It's a lot of stuff on tap. Beyonce, new album, Renaissance, bro. That, did you hear the album, Earn? Did you go through the album? Yeah. Like I'm going to just say this. Came out. I'm going to say this. Beyonce is a genius because she understands the demographic of people who listen to her music and she curates her music specifically for them i mean from a marketing standpoint she don't really care about our community for real for real like i mean it's evident in music with the messaging and stuff with the messaging and the content it's it's trash it don't it don't it doesn't uplift our community at all because but none of our music does she, so we don't need right. to single her it, but but she that's that's a fact but she's she's literally sitting in a lane that like that she doesn't even live in like it's like Facts. that's why it sounds in all it sounds inauthentic i've listened to the whole joke it sounds really inauthentic when she talks about certain stuff because it's like young this is not your life so who are you trying to like but she's mastered what rappers do because we got a bunch of bammers that grew up in six hundred thousand dollar houses with two parents in the house went to private school <laughs> and then they get on here and tell you to to take pills Draco, brush your Draco, guns Draco, Draco, Draco. Ride on the ops all this other kind of stuff so she didn't master she's like okay <laughs> I'm just gonna take the blueprint <laughs> and flip it to youngest, though. Yeah, that's exactly what it is, though. They got the they got the bad B song. They got the the club banger jumps. The I could be a church girl and shake my butt on on stage and like all like it's it's all of it's juxtaposed against each other. Like it's no cohesion. It's like it, if you follow this blueprint for your life, you will be unhappy. That's just the bottom line. You will be in a dysfunctional relationships for the rest of your life. You trying to strong arm a man to marry you and I'm going to put... Like, these are the messages that she's putting in the songs. It's just all a fail. But she's mastered how to, like, tap those the dysfunctional communities. But those are the consumers. Like, dysfunctional true. people are the biggest consumers of anything. Always. Yeah, but she's facing backlash because in one of her songs, she had the... The phrase spaz in it in in the song i guess that level track heated uh which features beyonce's and drake has some writer credits in it she she used the term spaz a term that the disability activists have called uh an ableist slur what'd you call i it? don't what community you, you said <laughs> the ableist no no nah, nah, that ain't what you said we what, thought we was gonna it? get you on wax uh oh, the community. oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh, you talking about? <laughs> oh, no, no, so no, you try no, to set me up? <laughs> Usually you walk the plank. This, this the one that had everybody crying. I do, I do walk the plank, dog. But y'all talked me off the ledge. Now, if I'd have came here without without y'all talking to me first, I probably would have just went off the deep end and then had to clean it up later. But I'm just saying, I'm trying to figure out what. First of all, I never known Spaz to be associated with the with the uh with the dis disability community the disabled community i never even know that yeah kill had you know explained that? it to us yesterday no nah. i first i mean if i believe what a kill said to be true which i i don't have a reason not to he was saying that um spaz is basically short for the word spastic and it's a, a term that i guess has been used for mm -hmm. for the disabled for for some time or whatever but that's the original the origin of the term um, but it's but also in the, up, the different, yeah. Law, law, the, I mean, the dictionary say it, loss of physical or emotional control. He offered a post game assessment. I spazzed out real bad. Like, that's how I've always known the term to be used. So, I mean, I'm glad I but that doesn't mean it didn't like, come I, from because that's the term, it doesn't mean it didn't come from or, like originally being used in that context. Well, was it being used in that context in the song? I don't think that matters. It's just the like, cause you know, especially when it comes to black music, they kind of bully a lot of the, the artists that have become pop and make them take things out. Whereas you don't necessarily see that in other genres or other, other uh, complexions of music, especially when, I don't know if Beyonce is on the major or not. I assume she is with as big as a star she is, but they'll put out music these majors about killing other black people, about selling drugs, doing drugs, youngins out here twerking and all types of stuff. Pipe, all kind of foolishness. But this is where the they got it draw the line. It just kind of it, it, it's weird to me. 
Don't, and I know that it doesn't necessarily right. come from the label, but you just got, I think black people have a better, do a better job of letting other people police them when people don't police themselves as it relates to black people. So. Yeah, and, and it's like, this term is not like, I, no, I'm 39 years old and I, and I've never really like associated the term spaz with people who have cerebral palsy or people who are part of the disabled community. I've never put those two together until this. But they don't care about that, that you didn't know. They would say that's your ignorance. That's like Obama saying, I never heard anybody. I didn't know you could say monkey was a, uh, I've had real live white women, dog. Be no bad. way, no, no way. No! 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 Not monkey, chill. But I mean, like <laughs> other other terms that would be obvious to us. They say that they didn't know, they couldn't uh, say or use these contexts in the real world in 2021, 2022. Be like, oh, I know, I didn't know that that was connected to this or connected to that. Because I think, because I'm thinking like inherent in spaz means that you lose control. So like, and I, I can just see that be associated with with certain uh disorders or I can. Uh, disabilities I, I mean now that it's like i know i'm like oh yeah okay i can see the correlation but it's not like and maybe because i'm not a part of that community or know enough people who are to really be like but to your point it's interesting that she just like no pushback nothing okay she's going to change and re-edit the song i'm like is it that easy can i be in an uproar how you destroying our communities when you don't have to, much money she has, much prestige well, she gonna has. They're going to be on your neck. Huh? They're going to be on your neck. Why? <laughs> you, you're not allowed to say nothing bad about her. Dog, this is what I'm trying to say. She's destroying our community with these messages that do not promote anything positive. And like, in a heartbeat, she was willing to change. Like, it wasn't even no pushback. Like, I think the next article, she was like, Beyonce is going to change the song. I'm like, what? Can you change all of them just then? So, let me ask you this. Do you think her changing that term is going to affect her album sales? Do you think less people are going to buy the album because she takes spaz out? No. So let me ask you this. If Beyonce was rapping about making her husband dinner and raising her daughters and taking them to, to plays and recitals and, and and none of the messages that she you say she's destroying the community with, would that affect her album sales? Would, would the youngest turn on her? Yeah. If she said, don't twerk, yeah, it, wear longer it, it, dresses and skirts, it, 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 but, like, but it's the thing but it's the thing though it's certain artists right where i feel like they're beyond they're beyond the like she's not chrisette michelle if she do something and then you can just destroy her prestige and like she get pushed off off in a corner like this is beyonce certain but that's her brain certain, enter certain entertainers have ascended to places where they can now dave chappelle is the per prime example when he's propelled himself to a certain level, a certain stage where he doesn't have to do to destroy our community no more. He don't have to do that. He can, he can, she can change. She can talk about whatever she wants to talk about now. And there'll be a demographic, maybe not as robust as it's always been, but she will still have a large following that will rock with her through thick and thin in the maturation of her life. Because what she's talking about is just to completely inauthentic, dog. And I mean, to me, I, that's the best music. The best music is the music that's authentic. And I think she might got like one song on there that I felt like was authentic because it just kind of shifted to like a, a form of Beyonce. Like it, it like it aligned with what her life is now. All that other stuff, it's like, you're not doing that. But the, the, the thing I just want to avoid well, us being two dudes on the joint with no youngins uh, contributing to this point is setting a standard for her that we don't set for the dudes who do music. And it is okay. artistry. Like, okay, that's as, fair. As an artist, like, it's people's interpretation of the world, what's going on around them, observation. It's not just what I did on my daily life. Like, nobody gonna make a song about I got up out of bed, brushed my teeth, and, and went to work. You know what I mean? It just That's just not how artistry works. Like, And there's always some, like, imaginary aspect or creative aspect when it comes to music so be, if we're not going to hold these these country stars who's not really on back roads these bamas living in mansions and all that they're not riding <laughs> horses you know what i mean like 
that's just artistry. Like to me, that's just artistry. Like love it or not, like not, almost none of these artists I feel like other than the Bamas in Chicago is really living they uh their that's lyrics true. like to a okay. T. And so we can't like get on here and be like just just single her out and make that's it like, enough. That's it's an outlier. That's fair enough. And you know, I don't never give youngers a pass on that where I don't feel like they deserve a pass. But I just don't think like we can indict her without having a conversation about how the rest of these bammers out here not not really living their life and, yeah, and nah, causing agreed. a lot of destruction on agreed. the niggas. Do read, do read. Yeah, I, I think uh the album overall, I mean, from a like a just a beat and it's, it's not, not for us. us. That's a fact. 